Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to capture mouse event in Java. So in uh, Java, if you want to capture any event, every event handling mechanism follow actually event delegation model. So in event delegation model, we have to define listener, which is going to handle events. And whenever an event is generated on a component, so only registered listener will handle that event. So here we are going to see how to track mouse event. So for that purpose, we need to import java.awd.event.star and we are going to create our GUI in Swing. So we are creating a class. Now, uh, in event handling code, first we have to define our listener. So how to do that? So for handling mouse event, we need to implement mouse listener interface. So let's create one class which implement mouse listener interface. So this li listener is actually provide all the method to handle mouse event. So this listener is actually having five method. Mouse clicked and every method is having a object of mouse event class as an argument. So this method will be called whenever mouse button will be clicked. Other methods are mouse pressed. So this method as the name implies this method will be called when we press a mouse button. So this method will be called. So let's print something so that uh, when we press mouse that message will be printed and we will know that which method is getting called. Mouse press event. And here we will print mouse click event. So when we implement an interface in class, that class we have to provide definition of all method which are declared in interface. So that's why here we have to define all methods which are available in mouse listeners interface. If we won't do that, our class will become abstract class. So we have to define total five methods. So mouse release and mouse press event. When these two events are combined, they will create one new event, mouse click. So mouse click is actually a combination of mouse press and mouse release. And second last is mouse entered. So this event will be called whenever mouse pointer will be entering in a area of component to which it is registered as a listener. So here we will print means mouse entered and last method is mouse exited. In this method, we will print mouse exited message. Okay, so we are done with our listener. We have defined a listener, we have created a listener. So now, what we have to do, we will create a uh, another class for simplicity in which we are we will create our GUI. So in this class, we will define our main method and in this main method we will create a frame we will set the size of this frame uh, let's make it 400 by 400 and then we will set a set default close operation which will specify default operation for close button and we will pass exit on close so this value will ensure that whenever a user will click on close button application will terminate and uh, now what we have to do uh, we want to attach this mouse listener to this frame so what we have to do we have to use frame object and we have to call add mouse 
listener method and in this method we have to call object of the class which actually implemented mouse listener interface so we have implemented mouse listener interface in class 1 okay we have to change this class let's make it 2 so here we will make the object of the class which is implementing mouse listener interface and this object we will pass here so these two lines these two lines are actually known as registering we are registering a listener for frame okay and at the end we will set visibility for our frame to true okay so now we are done we will save this file let's say we are saving this file on desktop to dot java okay so now we will compile it and run it so we have to change our directory then we will compile it okay so code is compiled now we will run it okay so uh, so so far okay so now if we move our mouse pointer inside the frame so method called is mouse entered and if we move this pointer out method will be called mouse exited now inside the frame if i will press mouse button mouse press event called now if i will release it release event will be called release that mouse release method and after release click will be called so as you can see here after press event mouse release method is called and combination of these two also create make this event click event so in this one we are handling mouse event this is a very simple example to handle mouse event thank you very much for watching